In the case of a Quadra versus San Miguel Corp, GR number 194467, July 13, 2020, another case penned by the bar chair, the Supreme Court discussed the relation between reinstatement of an employee and the length of his or her service with the employer. LS Inc. hired Melencio and Serafin in 1985 and 1988 respectively and were assigned to perform work at SM Corp. They filed a case on the 4th of January 1991 for illegal dismissal and regularization against LS Inc. and SM Corp. before the National Labor Relations Commission. In its decision dated uh, the 15th of December 1994, the Office of the Labor Arbiter ruled that Melencio and Serafin were regular employees of SM Corp. as LS Inc. was declared to be a labor-only contractor. It was also ruled that Melencio and Serafin were illegally dismissed from employment in 1990. Thus, SM Corp., the true employer, was ordered to reinstate Melencio and Serafin to their former position as a regular employees, their regular status effective as of the date of the Office of the Labor Arbiter's decision. Melencio and Serafin were also awarded back wages. Should Melencio and Serafin's employment be reckoned from December of the 15th of December 1994 or the date of the Office of the Labor Arbiter's decision? Or should it be reckoned from 1985 and 1988 or the year when Melencio and Serafin respectively, uh, respectively began to perform work in SM Corp. The Supreme Court ruled that Melencio and Serafin's employment start, started from 1985 and 1988. This is because service to an employer is presumed continuous unless there is evidence that uh, employer-employee relations were validly severed in the interim. If an employee re uh, returns to work upon an order of reinstatement, he or she is not considered a new hire. Following this principle, the employment relationship between Melencio and Serafin and SM Corp should have been considered as continuous and not validly severed when Melencio and Serafin were illegally dismissed from employment. When Melencio and Serafin were returned to work upon an order of reinstatement, Melencio and Serafin were not new hires. Thus, the reckoning point of their length of service must be in 1985 and 1988, or that date when they first started working in SM 